to those who seek the thrones of power. When there's a wake-up call, which says that you do not get a vote which you want. Now they're so complacent, so complacent to a point that, that they predict in Sago they will use 51 out of the 66 seats. So complacent. But if a wake-up call is sent, can you imagine what will happen after elections? I believe what will happen. The government will need to fast-track on reforms. The government will need to ensure that economic developments and priorities are given utmost importance instead of the same old politics. The point is there will be a huge wake-up call and those who sit in Kutra Jai Yuni will have to focus on moving Malaysia forward instead of playing old politics. So Muda's focus is to deliver that wake-up call on behalf of the people so that reforms are finally fulfilled and that we are back on the right track instead of where we're at today. Okay, like in the six states, right? What are our major targets? Uh, which states are you guys targeting the world? I mean, um, for the past one week, we've opened up. I mean, we've, we've tried something unconventional. <laughs> we've democratized the process of uh, selection of candidates. Literally, anyone within the public will join and apply. I know we are like, the, the applications are amazing. I mean, the uh, huge numbers too. I was surprised, but with that comes a lot more filtering, which is yeah. needed.